I bought the new uh, Derwin Line and Wash Paint Pen Set uh, to try. I'm gonna review it uh, today. Let's see how this uh, set works for uh, you know urban sketching and maybe just sketching in general. Uh, let's go. I paid something like uh, 27 Singapore dollars, roughly around US dollars 20 uh, from Art Friends, which is one of the uh, art retailer in Singapore. You can find this on Amazon. I think they are retailing something like $33.80 Singapore dollars, uh, roughly around 25 USD on the Amazon website. Uh, prices could change uh, when you view this, uh, you know, sometimes they run promotion and so on. But anyway, uh, let me open up this uh, pack and see what's inside. The plastic packaging looks uh, solid, uh, well made with a uh, Durban brand uh, on the outside. It even comes with a, a list of the colors in the printout, which is always nice, uh, wrapped around nicely. Um, and uh, has a little sponge, uh, uh, water brush, and the 12 colors uh, in half pen form. I presume it's half pen, looks like it is in half pen form. Uh, slightly loose in the packaging, but I think it's okay, it won't fall off uh, you know, from, from use, I suppose. Uh, the water brush is in two parts, uh, even has a uh, you know, part where you can take um, a water sub stopper, I suppose, where you can carry it around and shorten it. Uh, but I kind of wish that they made the water brush a bit smaller and they can fit without this hassle of uh, pulling it apart. But uh, the water brush looks solid. Um, looks like it feels, well, I guess reasonable amount of water. In, in any case, you can always get water from you know, wherever you're sketching and just fill it up. The sponge, probably not very usable. It's uh, not sure how uh, much of a water it will soak in. Uh, but anyway, the 12 colors, as you can see, uh, sun, yellow, mango, so on and so forth. I will go through this in a little bit more detail later on when I swatch them. So I think, yeah, so that's it. That's the pack. Um, and uh, let's open up uh, and get the uh, two pen. Uh, I guess they are gel pen uh, or pigment pen. Uh, and they should be permanent uh, according to uh, what I read. Permanent meaning uh, when you draw with the pen, uh, well, one of them is 0.3, the other one is 0.8, which is, you know, good size, I would say, uh, for beginners, uh, line marker. So permanent means that uh, when you draw it and then you wash over it, uh, the colors will be, uh, you know, will not uh, smudge. In other words, the, the line will not smudge. So yeah, there you have it, the set. Before we swatch though, I do want to uh, do a quick tour of my current uh, sketchbook. Uh, and uh, some of these sketches you may have seen from some of the posts I've done, uh, but a quick flip through. Uh, I must say that this Bind Artisan uh, watercolor sketchbook uh, is nothing to shout for, unfortunately. I'm not very impressed with the paper, uh, and uh, it is something that I actually don't recommend. <laughs> but uh, since I bought it and started on it, I'm going to try to finish it uh, in the February. I still have about two week plus to uh, complete uh, more sketches to, you know, in other, in other words, uh, just to finish it up. Let's see. So let's do a swatch of uh, these 12 colors and uh, get a sense of how these colors uh, act on, uh, you know, my sketchbook. All right, the first color is called uh, Sun Yellow. I suppose uh, from the name, it's meant to be a very bright uh, yellow um, one that you would use for a cool um, sort of uh, yellow. Um, yep, it looks like clean. One of the things immediately that strikes me is that uh, the color looks very intense. I do have a lot of intense uh, color pencil and I love them. Uh, and I kind of know how it uh, behave on uh, watercolor uh, paper. The next color is mango looks orangey to me again very very bright the uh, info sleep that they provide um, does not really do justice to the brightness of the color the next one is poppy red 
again very very bright so far so good i really like the three bright colors that they have provided uh, it will be very good uh, for bright sort of sketches if you like the next one is uh, autumn brown um, it looks quite bright for a brown uh, and the next one is uh, port uh, looks a bit on the warm side uh, like dirty red if you like um, these are not from the intense set but from the graphite tint set um, autumn brown and port and final color here is bright blue uh, that is from the intense uh, series so what they have done derwin uh, is to mix and match uh, the various set of uh, you know uh, series that they have intense graphite tint uh, and as well as pastel shade so you know uh, these two colors the first one on the bottom left is uh, intense paints gray uh, and the next one that is a bit more bluish is Graffitin's Ocean Blue. And this one while I'm swatching is uh, Pastel Shade, or uh, Artichoke. I actually like this color a lot actually. It has a slight shimmer uh, light, but uh, you can see that you can create a bit of intensity uh, with this light bluish green. The next one is the Graffitin's Meadow. Um, I guess it's green. Uh, not very bright green, but I guess you can mix it with the sun yellow and get some sort of a, a bright, uh, glorious morning green, if you like. Next one is Intense Natural Brown on the darker side. I suppose I could use this for the darks. Uh, finally, is the Pastel Shades Storm Grey. So there you have it, all the 12 colors. Uh, first impression, the brights are excellent. I do like the three uh, brights, uh, sun yellow, mango, and poppy red. Looks really, really nice. Uh, I guess you could make very, very, uh, you know, bright uh, sketches with these three colors. The graffiti uh, part though, uh, autumn brown and pot, uh, as well as ocean blue and uh, meadow, I suppose they are usable. I mean, from what I'm seeing from the swatch itself, um, they behave pretty much the same as the intense uh, sort of series in terms of behavior. Uh, well, they're supposed to uh, be permanent when they are dry. In other words, if you have sketched and you leave it to dry, you can layer them and they will not disturb the underlying layers. That's the uh, specialty of this um, series. Um, however, for beginners, that may be confusing because this is not a typical behavior of watercolor. But like all art material, all you need to do is to paint and sketch with it and get used to it and, and it forms part of your arsenal. Uh, but when you have this set, you just need to be very careful and clear that they are uh, behaving slightly differently from the traditional watercolor set that you get uh, you know, from other brands. Uh, it's not good or bad, it's just something that you have to get used to. And another comment at this point while I'm looking at the swatch is that I think it will not give me a very dark outcome. If I want something, you know, from a scale of 1 to 5, I think at most I will get probably a 4, maybe a 4.5. Let's see. Later on, I'll try to get some darks and see what I can do with the mixes. Uh, if I can get 4, 4.5, I say 4, I, wanna, I will not be very happy, but 4.5, I think I'll be quite all right with it. So, um, the first swatch, Derwin's Line and Wash Paint um, Pen Set. Uh, and we shall see how uh, this is going to give us uh, in terms of uh, our ability to sketch uh, with it. The first thing I want to check uh, would be values. Values would be how light or dark I turn on my uh, camera on my iPhone set to Noah and uh, that gives me a feel for how light and dark it is. As you know, uh, you need to know the value the, of you, each of your color in your palette. So uh, I'm uh, this study basically is to look at how dark or how light each of uh, the color. Um, and uh, you know, by looking at a gray photo using a noir setting uh, or something similar on your other maybe android phone uh, you could then get 
a judgment uh, in terms of uh, what is the light uh, and dark of the value so you can see that I would say, say uh, the sun yellow is one for sure uh, in a scale of one to five mango is probably one and a half or two or two minus uh, but anyway I give you a two uh, artichoke is a two um, and uh, then you know I decide on the rest uh, they are usually between three and four I don't think there is a five um, in other words there is no super dark in this uh, uh, you know set of paint uh, but I guess you could use ink um, the ink itself should be a five I mean that is probably one way of doing it uh, but then again I've always liked uh, my paint set to have uh, something that's closer to five I did give the uh, paints gray a four plus um, I guess it's uh, as dark as it gets in this set uh, and I have to see whether later on when I mix them whether I can get a little bit darker uh, than this uh, so you know once you have scored them it gives you a sense of the colors uh, value uh, when you sketch with it you would be able to use it uh, to give you a good sense of how light or dark you get when you use those colors this exercise um, I would do for all new color sets uh, if I ever buy anything I usually uh, would try to test the value uh, scale and that gives me a good sense um, so one to five value now the second thing I do once I've tested the value is to try to mix uh, secondary colors um, purples greens and oranges um, and uh, that would be something that you can you can do as well with any set actually so using um, a combination of red and blue uh, I try to see what kind of uh, purple shades I get uh, out of it so in this case by mixing poppy red and bright blue uh, I get this uh, pretty nice uh, purple shade um, quite happy with it I think slightly muted slightly neutral but definitely usable um, the second mix uh, I'll try would be the autumn brown with paints gray paints gray is slightly on the blue side so by mixing it with a brown uh, like autumn brown I should be able to get a neutral purple um, and uh, well let's see add a bit of water getting in a bit of uh, the autumn uh, brown in uh, it's okay it's not the best but it does have a slight shade of uh, purple um, and uh, yet you can see the original colors as well which uh, of course is always a good thing actually well the third mix I'm gonna do would be from poppy red with ocean blue um, and again I'm hoping to get a brighter purple um, so that I could use it as uh, a purple that would uh, you know would be bright enough to contrast with the neutral purples that we have made so far uh, from the mix itself um, it looks like it's not going to be a very bright purple slightly muted although I think the uh, the first purple is even more muted than this um, I think it's probably because of the bright red uh, and the cool blues they don't really give you very nice uh, you know purple in that sense you need a cool red uh, with a uh, you know warm blue to give you a very nice purple shade uh, all right anyway those are the three combination of purples that I get out of these uh, uh, colors um, they are usable not the best but they are usable purples so writing them down before I forget um, poppy red plus bright blue um, autumn brown with paints gray and the last one would be poppy red and ocean uh, blue those are the three combination purple that I tried with this set so far uh, I'm sure you can have other combination but at least I have a sense of what I can get uh, out of it okay that's just to get a sense of what purple I can get out of it the second one um, the second secondary colors I would like to get uh, to try would be the greens so that gives you a sense uh, again with the noir a sense of how dark those colors are uh, I would say most of them are in the range of the, the four uh, not five but probably around the four which is okay okay now on uh, to green uh, the various colors I will need to try uh, would be sun yellow with meadow uh, mango with artichoke uh, meadow with natural 
brown. Uh, I do like to mix yellow and green or uh, with brown thrown in sometimes because um, brown, as you know, is uh, in essence uh, a form of uh, dirty yellow. Right. So the first one, sun yellow with meadow. Uh, I think this can be used for lots of um, uh, flowers, lots of leaves, uh, especially uh, the sunlit part of uh, the greens. So this is a very, very uh, usable color. The next one, mango with artichoke. Mango is sort of very warm yellow or orange um, with a very muted uh, green. Um, and I think this combination is going to be a bit uh, weird. Uh, but actually, as it turns out, it looks mm, maybe even usable as well. I certainly won't use it for leaves, but um, I could think of uh, you know moments when I want to mute my orange. Uh, I could throw in some artichoke to uh, you know for that uh, effect, if you like. You know, sometimes by playing with different combination of colors, you just get odd results, and it could be good, it could be bad. But uh, I always just kind of just pack it away and uh, kind of just make a mental note that hmm, if I want something. Uh, a certain effect uh, based on you know this uh, swatching and mixing it gives me options right the next uh, the next one is uh, meadow with natural brown uh, again it looks usable to me it could be colors uh, that this combination can be used for trees uh, for uh, trunk uh, either I make a combination of the leaves brown or I make the brown green uh, either way so there you go. Sun yellow with meadow, mango with artichoke, and finally meadow with natural uh, brown. That is um, uh, to get to understand the palette, to get greens, uh, hopefully usable uh, green. And it does look usable um, at this point. Okay, we're gonna move on to uh, trying to mix uh, orange, oranges. Um, and I think, as I said, uh, from the first three colors swatched, uh, it looks like it is a very, very uh, bright uh, colors, and I do like the brightness of it. Um, the sun yellow looks really, really bright, and as does uh, mango and the poppy red. So first one is the sun yellow mixed with mango. Um, let's see how this one goes. Throwing in some of uh, the mango, it does look quite bright as well. The next one, uh, mango with poppy red. Certainly this will look more towards the orange, um, but when I mix it, uh, the colors are somewhat muted. Maybe that's because poppy red is actually a little bit on the cooler side. It has some cool part in it uh, that sort of muted out uh, the orange. So it didn't turn out as bright as I expected it to be. Finally, throwing sun yellow with poppy red. Uh, again, um, actually this is uh, sort of a, a mistake, uh, yeah, but as you can see a little bit more red in it and um, yeah, so gives me a little bit of uh, comfort, I could create some variety uh, with this mix. So let's write them down before I forget, um, the first one is sun yellow with mango. Um, All right, but when I wrote it, it was a mistake. I wrote as poppy red. Anyway, later on, I kind of correct that. Uh, the second one is mango with uh, poppy red. So obviously, this would be towards the reddish side of orange. And the last one is sun yellow with poppy red, um, which should give a good mix of uh, orange right here. So we're done with mixing the secondary colors of purples, greens, and oranges. Um, and if I look at the uh, the swatches compared to uh, the printout slip that's given. Uh, the sun yellow, the mango, the poppy red are very bright, but on the printout, they are not so bright. Uh, the rest of the colors are closer to the printout. Uh, I think they are usable, but just gotta remember the bright ones, uh, they are actually not so, um, not so close to uh, the actual colors you get with your swatches. Now we're going to try to make some darks and see what we get. Uh, hopefully we can get a little bit darker than the ones that um, on its own. Uh, it looks to me that uh, probably the darkest I can get would be Payne's Grey with Natural Brown. 
uh, those are probably the darkest colors I have and um, on its own and hopefully I can get it to be a bit darker than uh, if I were to apply it individually let's see so uh, here we go it looks quite dark at least when it's wet but uh, you have to remember for watercolor it is always darker when wet uh, compared to when it is dry now let's try to mix some usable purple uh, I'm gonna throw in some storm gray with paints uh, gray uh, let's see what I get it should be a usable maybe a bluish sort of uh, gray uh, I, I like this sort of gray because I can use it to uh, create values as well differentiated from the darkest dark that I can do so, so far, those darks are beautiful, rich, and usable. Uh, let's try to get something else and see what we can do with this. Uh, maybe a weird combination of some sort. Um, again, maybe the... Um, yeah, let's try Autumn Brown. Um, the Autumn Brown, it's a, you know, a brown color or orange. So, you know, maybe we throw in some of the green, uh, uh, which we didn't try earlier, in this case, meadow. Um, and uh, does it give us a usable grey? Um, yeah, it does look like a usable muddy uh, sort of a grey. Uh, looks usable to me. Anyway, that's just a bit random. But um, uh, looks usable for all kinds of natural nature. Uh, sketch as well so I think I'm done with the swatches um, and I have some ideas what I can and cannot do with this palette uh, I certainly can create some really bright colors with it uh, specifically the yellow red orange and red uh, but uh, the rest of the colors like purple and uh, the orange especially um, Mm, it's not as you know um, bright as I like it to be uh, so I guess uh, I just got to make do with it knowing the limitation of this palette there's no perfect palette anyway you just got to make do and learn how to maximize uh, the sort of uh, colors that you can get out of the mixes and that's just something to do with every single set of palettes that you get uh, you have to know the benefits and the limitation so what's my thoughts um, I think it's usable uh, for beginners just need to learn to understand the limitation uh, I'll be doing some sketches with it later on and I'll post my uh, maybe an update of the results uh, later on what I think about this set uh, otherwise I think it is uh, yeah it, it might be a good set for beginners uh, to try so thanks to Devon who is always very supportive of urban sketching community and I certainly hope that they'll continue to uh, produce good set, uh, you know, for uh, us to try. Uh, although this is not sponsored by Dove in any means, but uh, I think, uh, you know, it is a, a good, uh, hopefully, a video to give you an introduction to this set, the Derwin Line and Wash Pain Pain Pen Set. How oh, I say it right? <laughs> Take care wherever you are. This is we take out. <laughs>